Alright, everybody, so... I'm pretty sure if I head up here, there's car boosting. And this will be, like, the final side content that I'll do. Then, more than likely, I will, uh... More than likely, after this, I will be doing the end of the story, which we're very close to doing. But it could be very tedious, I remember. How do I see the list of cars I need to boost? Here we go. No, it's a race. Oh. There's a race tournament? Look. Huh. Go, go karting. Oh my god, I'm gonna try this. Oh my god. Dude, the go-kart is terrible. The go-kart handles really badly. <laughs> Mario Kart. Fuck. Holy shit. We both wrecked. We both fucking wrecked. That's fucking Paperboy music I'm humming, by the way. Not fucking Mario Kart. <laughs> this is so stupid. I wonder if we get anything for it. Oh, I got stuck. Great. I'm fucking stuck. I'm stuck again. I'm stuck a third time. Fuck you guys. My go kart is smoking. Ah, oh, this ain't exactly funny. This thing handles terribly. Damn, the Schroeder. Terrorizing the city with go-kart racing. That's it, I won. I won! A stupid go-kart race. Oh my god. Nice. That's how it's done. Cody Carl's true again. He said, I had said that it had to do with the riding jets and planes, breaking to the military base, stealing a jetpack. You thought it was a lot less realistic compared to GTA 4, and you didn't like that. Actually, now you know what, Cody? You're Actually, what you're saying is coming back. You're right. I remember saying that. Because remember, at that time, I had not played any of the classic GTAs. I had only played GTA 4, and that was it. So then going back and playing GTA 3, that was pretty realistic. GTA Vice City, pretty realistic. And then all of a sudden, this game has flying planes and jetpacks and crazy shit, right? Zany stuff. So I kind of I, I kind of see where I was coming from back then. Um, I'll be honest, playing it now with, with not delayed controls makes it a lot easier and a lot less painful. I think the problem I hated it so much back then is because my controls were so delayed, it was hard to do the vehicle stuff. Now it's actually now playing on PS4 on a modern TV and everything is actually pretty easy. So, keep in mind also back then, I played J Grand Theft Auto all summer. So I was so burnt out on Grand Theft Auto by the time that I was playing this game, you know, six years ago. Now I'm, I'm playing it at its own pace. I've been playing it for over two weeks now on and off and I've been having a lot more fun with it. So you got to realize that too.
Bionic 2 says, why were my controls delayed? Because I was playing on original PS2 on a modern TV. There was no digital version of this game available six years ago. So that's why I did that. Um, I think I'm done. I don't think I'm going to do the car boost thing because it looks like you just need to know the cars and steal them and bring them there. And I'm not going to bother with that. But I think I get an achievement for taking the train. But I Oh, here it is. Is the train going to stop? If the train stops, I'll get on it. No. I think it's a freight train. It's not a passenger train. That train is slow as fuck. Look how slow it is. How do I get on? Asshole. Where's the door? I can't see. Dude. It's completely black. I can't see the door. Look, I can't see how to get on. How do you get on the train? What the fuck? I can't get on the train because it's too dark. Oh, I got on. So apparently if I ride the train, I get a trophy. Let's see where it goes. A nice cinematic train ride. Ya pa da pa da, ha pa ta pa ta, ya cha 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 cha. All you had to do was get on the train, CJ. <laughs> this is pretty cool. You can drive across the bridge. This is nice. Nice cinematic view of the train. I like it. You know, they could do this in future Grand Theft Autos, too. Remember, Grand Theft Auto 4, you could ride a taxi cab and stuff like that. PHZE3 says that using the train is the easiest way to outrun the cops. The cops will not catch you when you're on the train. Oh, wow. People are also saying that you could hijack the train and derail it. That's fucked up. <laughs> Oh man, Super Slice and Under Siege 2, Phil Territory. Remember Under Siege 2 was on a train? That was so stupid, that movie sucked. <laughs> Under Siege 2, Dark Territory. Also known as Under Siege 2, same plot as the first shitty movie. Noah Taylor says that Mike Torino has a huge gift of ranch for you. Really, where's that? Do I have to go somewhere to get that? Dark Side Vader says, I love the playthrough field. Give a shout out. Shout out to Dark Side Vader. Thanks for liking the playthrough. Hope you're having fun. Where are we going? Looks like we're in the desert now. Bone County. Huh. <laughs> Noah Taylor says that the ranch he has a minigun. Holy shit, really? We're in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Little probe in. So this gotta be in the middle of the friggin' uh, desert. Because they're having references to aliens, right? In Area 69. Little probe in. Little anal probe in. <laughs> there it is, I got it. Freight date. I got the trophy for riding the train long enough. Freight date, bronze trophy. Very nice. Very nice. It's really really cool views. It's a cool way to get a tour of the game. So 
So the only trophies I didn't get, I didn't get take over all gang territories, but that one's coming. I didn't get get all the boosted cars, because that's going to take forever. There's like 12 of them or some shit. That would take forever. Um, I think I got almost everything. I don't think I drowned. There's the ones that drowned to death. I don't think I got that one. And I'm not getting that one because then I'll lose all my fucking weapons. But outside of that, I got almost all the trophies in the game. I did all the side content and challenges. So, very different from my first playthrough, that's for sure. Uh... <laughs> 